Hi all, in this video, let's learn about JavaScript coding interview question challenge. So that is about reverse only the characters. So for example, here, if you see the string input is a comma b dollar c. And here, if you see only the characters like c, b, a are reversed, not the special characters. So this is a challenge. So let's see how to solve this. This is also a lead code interview question as well. So let's see how to solve this. Firstly, so as I mentioned, this would be the input and we need to reverse these characters. Only the characters and special characters would be in the same position. Okay, and the, only these two should be reversed. So if you give any input like this, so now see A and B would be, these special characters would be in the same place and these positions would be modified. The other characters would be reversed. Okay, it's like the same like a string reverse, but the positions of the special characters should not be modified. So that's the challenge, so fine. So let's take a method. Okay, I'm passing this string here. So now let's see. So this is a variable like constant letter. So I will take this inside this variable. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I will take one variable called results. So this I will be taking this as an array. Right, fine. So let, I will tell you why I've taken this as an array and uh, the rest of the things. So first thing is this is a string. S is a string here. So now what we need to do we need to convert this as an array so that's the reason what i'm doing is s array string array so this string this capital s is a string we need to convert this string as an array how we can do that with the help of the split so if you do split just empty strings here so now this becomes now we are converted the string into array so this is what we did here at this position why we have converted the string into the array means the reason behind this is if it is an array, if the string is present in an array, we can apply multiple uh, operations of array and we can loop through this array and we can check. So for the further operations, it would be helpful for us. So that's the reason we have converted the string into an array. Now let's loop this array. So we are going to loop this array. So i and i is less than s array dot length dot length i plus plus. So here, what we are going to do is, we have taken one more array, right? So in this array, what we'll do is, we'll only keep in a given string, okay, we'll only keep the characters. Okay, we'll not keep all any of the special symbols. We'll only keep the characters, whatever we have in that string, only that characters, not the special symbols. So fine, so to do that, if we will be checking whether each and every element in this array dot we'll be writing a regular expression to match whether the current element is a number like it's a digit or a special symbol so we are giving something like this so now we this regular expression what does this regular expression does we are looping through each and every element in the array and we are verifying whether the current element is a character or not if it is a character what we are going to do so if it is a character we will push the results dot push will push that element will push that current element so why we are doing like this means so now by end of this for loop what we'll be having is in the results array so this is a results array right in this results array okay we, we will be having this is an array right in this array we'll be having all the characters so whatever the characters we have in only the characters, not the special symbols, no special symbols. Okay, only the characters will be available in this array. So once this is done, okay, next, next what we are doing is we have taken the same results is equal to results dot reverse. So we are using the reverse function of array. So only the characters would be reversed. Fine. So now what, what happened is like, so in the first this step and until this step what happened is, we have taken up, okay, in this results, we have only characters. All the special symbols would be removed. For example, if we take this ABC, so here in only we'll be getting ABC. No other special characters, okay, because we have matched the regular expression like this and we have only extracted the characters. And now we are reversing that. In this case, what it happens is CBA, okay. As we have reversed the string, it becomes a CBA. Now what we are going to do is we are again going to loop up the original array 
and this towards its string. Okay. And so let me show that. So I will write another for loop here for let j equal to zero. J is less than yes. So here let me take this S array. So S array is there. This is the original array. So if you see that array was not yet modified. So in this S array, the original array would be there. All the characters and the special symbols will be available in this array. Whereas in the results array, we'll be having only the characters. So now we are looping through the original array. Okay. And so now we are looping through the original array. We are verifying while we are looping through the original array S yes, array. We are verifying whether the given element, whether the given element is a character or a special special symbol. So for that, what we are doing, not letters. So that's the reason we have declared a variable called letters and we have given all the small case A, B, A to Z and capital A to Z. Okay, now we'll verify whether the current element is includes whether this is, so let me reverse this, whether it is includes the results. So if it is the current element, so in the current element will be available here. So if the current element is available in this letters, so then what does it mean? It means it is a character. And what we are doing, we are saying not. It means we are trying to find here. What we are doing is we are trying to find the special characters. Okay, here we are trying to find a special character. So that's the reason we mentioned this as not. So we are checking whether the current element is present in the letters or not. Okay, if it is not present, it means it is a special character. So what we are going to do if it is a special character? Anyways, this results means it was already reversed. The strings are already reversed. So now what we are going to do means if we are getting into this if loop, it means that is a special character means we need to include that special character in the same position. For that, we need to use splice, okay? Okay, splice results means it will be this array now, okay? And we got a special symbol now. What we are going to do at the J position means that that current position, I don't want to remove any elements. So here you will be having three parameters. So in the splice, first one is the current index. Second one is how many elements to remove. But here we are not going to remove. We are need to push the element. So the which element to be pushed? So the current element because the current element is a special element. Okay. So here I kept it as a I. So it should be J. So this is what here. So now what we are doing is again we are iterating over the original array and we are verifying whether the current element is a special character or an only a character. Okay, now if it is a char special character, then we are going inside this if block and we are keeping that special character in perfectly that position. So here see, here you will be getting comma because the comma is a special character which is not included in the letters. You will go inside this if block. Here in the if block, what we are doing, the current location means the current index is one. In the current index one, you are keeping this special character. So in this way, what we are doing is we have reversed the string. Okay, and now what we are doing, we are inserting the special characters at their own positions because the logic or the statement of the problem is we should not modify the special characters position. Only the characters position should be modified, should be reversed. So that's the reason already the string was reversed. So what we are doing, we are finding where the special character is there and we are keeping that special character in this reverse string. So once this is done, what we need to do is we need to return back this. but the solution is we should not return back this as an array. We should return back this as a string because if you see in the top, see, this is the input, this is the output. Of course, we converted this string into an array for our need, our, for our proceeding. And however, we need to return back this as a string. So it means we have the result as an array. Now we need to convert this array into string. How we can do that? So results dot join. So if you do this, what happens is, so let me do right here. So the array converts into string. Okay. Now we are returning back the string. We got a string and we have converted that into an array and we have done all of our operations and we are again returning back this as a string. So now let's see in the Chrome. So the, uh, output, let's see the output in the Chrome. So let me refresh it. See, we got this output C comma B 
dollar a so only abc positions were modified and the special characters positions were not modified so if you also can include this as an input as well so let me include this as an input here so let me replace here this okay let me keep the uh, it as a string so now let's see see we got this as an output so let me refresh this yep we got this as an output so let let's check whether this is a correct or not so here you can paste it yes this is a perfect one okay this is what the expected output because what we are doing is we are not more more doing any of the changes so we have taken this array we are copying the original only the characters first and later on we are this loop is to get only the characters from the array and we have reversed this array and this loop is we are checking whether any special character is available or not if it is available then we are pushing that special character in that particular position so this is a problem this is a solution for this problem hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos thank you